What's going on? Marksman here, and I've got a killer tip for you which is going to help transform your low end and not have mixing issues. It's super simple. Okay, so let's jump straight into Ableton. But before we do, please remember to like and subscribe. Lots of videos dropping with amazing tips, and you don't want to miss a beat. Plus, it really, really helps me out. Anyway, let's jump into Ableton. So here we are in Ableton, and I've got a track loaded up here which is going to demonstrate this principle really well. It's called Take Me Away. It's going to be out on my label, Elevation London, as our first release. So head to the link in the description. Give it a pre save. You get to listen to the full track right now. Plus, it really really helps us out. So thank you for doing that. Here's a little demo of it without the mastering chain on so you can still hear me talk. So yeah, it's like an upbeat, progressive, summary, melodic track. It's going to be a banger. So yeah, do, do go give it a pre-save. Really help me out. Anyway, let's hone in specifically on the bass. So let me just mute everything else and let's just take a listen directly to that so i'm pretty sure all of you can hear the bass is being super clean super tight and no matter if you're listening on your phone or your headphones studio monitors or even through your laptop speakers you can probably hear the bass very clearly and there is a reason for that so let's look at this bass here, which I've used in a few videos, and it's kind of one of my signature sounds. It's a kick drum, but I've shaved off the initial sort of thumpy transient, which sounds like which is what kicks are made of. So you shave that off and you're left with like a kind of distorted sine wave in a way, um, you can see here, uh, which is really nice and rich. In this processing rack here, I'm, I'm demonstrating a very important principle. So we have one, two, three, four, pieces of coloring for either distortion, saturation, overdrive, or tape, which are going to color the sound and give it harmonics, which helps it translate to other sound systems. So if I bypass all of these, you'll notice that the bass sounds super thin now, compared to this. So to demonstrate this further, I'm going to load up Serum because it's really important to understand this from a fundamental perspective. And we just put the sub on and have a sine wave here and turn this oscillator off. So a sine wave is the purest tone you can possibly have. It is one peak. That is it. So if I play a note on my keyboard, you can see it's one peak on the EQ. But if we go down into the sub range, a lot of you might not be able to hear that if you're not listening on monitors or really, really, really good headphones. And the reason for that is because in order to be able to produce bass frequencies, you need to have a big speaker, either monitors or a club sound system. You're not going to be able to hear this on your laptop speakers or headphones or like AirPods or something like that just because they're small speakers they're not able to produce those bass frequencies. You need big ones, like a big club sound system or big monitors or a subwoofer. So especially if I play this C0 note here, most of you probably can't hear that, right? So if you are playing notes in this bass register, you're gonna need to color them somehow. So we can use literally anything and I'm gonna demonstrate a few examples. So let's just use overdrive to start with. I'm gonna put it before the EQ, drag this over here. And now when I press that same C0 note, you guys can probably hear that, right? That's because overdrive, distortion, saturation are adding harmonics to that same sine wave. So if I turn it off, we can't hear it probably. But then when I turn it on, you probably can hear that. It's the same with anything. So if I use a saturator, drag that on and crank up the drive, you guys can probably hear that now right so it's really important to understand that when you're listening on these these sound systems where by the way most people are listening to on out of their iphone out of their laptop out of a rubbish bluetooth speaker not everyone like as producers we assume that everyone's going to be listening to it either in the club or on high quality headphones or speakers which is not the case the majority of the world is probably listening to it on very poor quality speakers such as the iphone such as airpods such as a small bluetooth speaker so they're just not going to be able to hear that bass so in order for it to translate we need to add harmonics to it which is going to help it like 
have the perception of hearing that sub note when actually you're only hearing the harmonics. So if you listen to a very well produced track, you feel like you can hear the bass line through the phone. Actually, you're just hearing the harmonics in like the 150 plus hertz range, which is definitely not the sub bass, okay? So that is a key to understanding this. And yes, you can use anything. You could even use the amp if you wanted to. We could just drag that on and you might be able to hear that if we crank up this bass, crank up the gain a little bit. It's added a ton of harmonics there. So this is a super important concept to understand if you want your basses to be heard on such systems, which by the way, you really should do. So there you have it. That's a really quick tip you can do to bring your low ends to life and help them translate for your car test, for your for Bluetooth speakers, for iPhone speakers, for just generally not good quality speakers, which most people are listening on. However, this is just a small part of the puzzle, and that's why I've created the Kick and Bass Mastery course, which covers six important principles that you can take right now to make your low end sound tight and professional and get that kick and bass relationship sounding super punchy, thunderous, and DJs are gonna wanna play it, Spotify playlisters are gonna wanna put it in their playlist, and labels are gonna wanna sign you. So the link is in the description, click that link there and sign up. In under 60 minutes, you will learn everything you need to know to create a incredible low end for your tracks straight away after watching the course. Please do remember to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. There's gonna be a lot more videos dropping very soon so you don't want to miss a beat. I have a mailing list you can sign up for if you're a producer where I send out loads of tips and tricks which I don't share on YouTube, which you'll find super useful if you're wanting to take your music seriously and get professional sounding results or even make a career out of it. So hit the link in the description, sign up, go grab the Kick and Bass Mastery course, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.